Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Today we are going to take a look at how to make a sample pack a little bit more of your own thing. Or how to manipulate samples that are not yours. Uh, in my case, it's not really true because I'm going to show you how to do it with a sample pack I made for Patreon. So let's go to the last one, which is a QMMG sample pack. And I'll show you basically what are my strategies when I approach samples and uh, what I like to do with those. So it might give you some ideas to integrate those sounds that you get from around the internet or from friends or whatever into your own music. So let's start by uh, some one shots. Mm, let's just listen to a few. Here what I did, for example, is to sample the same sound, but with a different uh, key. Because what happened, let's load them all. What happened when you use a sample into a basic sampler like this? One shot mode. It will play it and it will change the speed of this sound to make it change its uh, load value. So basically changing which instrument is playing is like changing the octave you are playing. It allows you to uh, change the length of the low and high notes because you have a different scale of sounds available in each sample. So you can adjust the, the first pitch you want and then play from here without changing the octave on the thing. Okay, so let's write a little something. Let's start on track four. the tempo a little bit. I will use some drums. I know they are 175, so let's go straight to 175. This is already has a nice rave feeling to it. So here we can change the octaves by choosing a different samples, which, as I said already, will alter the length. Like in the prepared sample video I did last time, nothing stops you from changing the effects on each of those sounds. Let's check what else we have here. Dual peak filter stuff. I try to make long samples so that they can be cut short a little bit. Oh, let's take that shaky bass and write a bass with it. So. Let's see our options here. We can do one shot, forward loop, etc. One that can be fun, not for the bass though, but is the granular one. It can be fun with the 
for base as well. So what I will do is that I will copy this one, and paste it, and the first one will be one shot. The second granular. Let's try to find a Here, we'll do copy this note, use this sound, play it way higher. Let's listen to it a little. Okay, so now let's add some modulation to the granular position with an envelope. That's fun. It goes too far and clicks a little bit. But so to reduce the clicks, you can choose the shape here. Triangle is less clicky. Gaussian maybe even less. But it cuts a little bit of the volume of the thing. Anyway, it's not very important here. Now let's get this one, the simple one, and see what we can come up with. Add some depth to all of all this. All those instruments will be sent to the delay. Now let's go to the delay page, set up the delay as ping pong, sync it. Okay, so now let's add some percussion. Now, as the QMMG is a very dirty sounding filter, I tried to put some sounds to the QMMG and then give them this uh, this kind of burnt sound, like on the edge of destruction thing. This one we are going to slice it. I'll auto slice and. Uh, I'll edit the video so you don't have... Okay, let's see how it sounds now. Oh, I want the bit slice mode. Oh, I know we are in the right tempo, so it will be easy to make funny stuff. Okay, 
Let's just copy all this. Start over from here. Let's copy it again. Something I showed you already in the one of the first video. When you want something to real-time FX on something, you can duplicate it. So here we have effectively twice the same sound. And then we are going to use the number 10 instruments to add some bandpass filtering, which will result as a, a sort of phasing effect when the two are mixed together. Send this to a little reverb, only the effect, and add some modulation to the filter cutout. Which is something random, rhythmical. Okay, let's start over with our other sounds. length if it's to make everything short here. Now let's tune the envelope accordingly of course. There's too much release, it won't have any effect. Boost the volume here because it became a little bit low. And now let's try to find another sound. Some weird percussions, for example, that are in the other here. Those are nice for being uh, sliced. There's some like this. I'm going to use one of those very uh, Pink Floyd echo sounds. Tons of spring reverbs on it. Let's see what we can do with that. Let's duplicate this pattern. If you want the reveal tails to mix together, you can use two tracks. Pass the last note so those two will overlap a little bit. Anything could be to add a new instrument in the slot 13. Synth one shot, vectoral plugs. There is some nice one in there as well. This one. And here. Let's shift and move the jog wheel to octave up. Reverb. Let's remove some of the bass of this sound with the high pass filter. This one could do with a little bit of uh, 
vibrato. That's good. One last is to combine sounds. Like this. Like this. This one. Uh, what I done? I don't like this one, actually. Oops, let's change. If I like my shaky bass, for example, with this little spring attack select the full pattern go to render selection auto name render and load and you should end up with this new sound And you can do this with whatever. You can add what I did earlier. I'll just make... Okay, you have your pattern that you like. Oops, sorry. Select this, copy, pass. So oh, there's the, uh, the two same. Use the other one with the filter. Now, if you select all this, you can render it as well, which will give you your f weird phased, phased out uh, breakbeat. Well, that's it for today. Uh, I hope it wasn't too messy. It's very hot in here today, so I'm getting dizzy. Anyway, there's lots of sounds like this every week or so on Patreon, so feel free to join in. Support is always welcomed. And many thanks to all the people who already did. Have fun. See you next time.